Hold on, I'm trying to make this so I can see all of it. Okay. Close enough. Okay. So, we have S, A, B, D, and B, C, and D. Okay? I'm gonna put... We'll start with D rank. The worst games. The worst games are actually... Where is it? Gold. Silver. This is these are my opinions. This is not this is not anything else. Gold, silver, crystal. Hands down the worst games of the series. <laughs> the, the champion is literally we have Cynthia at Holmes. <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, they try to capture the Cynthia again, but yeah, my opinion is gold, silver, crystal are the worst in the series. Not because I didn't spend a lot of time in them. I spent so much time in them. This is the first games I got my level one, my first level 100 was a Alligator. It's, and as a kid, they were enjoyable. Looking back on them, game design wise, they're pretty shit. And here's why. The XP curve. They built the game where you're supposed to go through the game with five Pokemon, not six. And that's not good. At the same time, I would also put, I would put Diamond and Pearl, where's Diamond and Pearl, uh, I lost, here's Pearl, where's Diamond, can't find Diamond, oh there it is, Diamond, I put Diamond and Pearl at C rank, yeah the XP curve is whack, plus Lance has level 50, uh, crap what are they called? Level 50's, um, Dragonite's is stupid. The Elite Four are a joke. They're a pushover in this gen. In this gen. You, you reach them at level 40, though, is a problem. Like, you're, you're so underleveled if you play the game correctly. I would... So, these are these are my lowest tier ones. Now, I say lowest tier. <clears throat> I put Diamond and Pearl here because the deck sucks. The decks in Diamond and Pearl is awesome. I, I keep these around C because they're fun games and they did a lot for the series. And I spent a lot of time in them, but they're not. They're the decks terrible. The decks, the decks immediately puts it at C because the decks is awful. And the whole section with like, you could take two paths, but they don't change the XP curve. They they did they made the same mistake they did in Gold and Silver. They fixed the mistake in Ruby and Sapphire and made the same mistake in Gold and Diamond and Pearl, where you had two separate paths you could take, but the XP curves didn't change, and so you were just kind of screwed over. At, at one point, one way or another, you were over leveled and then under leveled immediately after. Now, we're gonna put. We'll do. Let's go with red and blue. Red and blue. I'm gonna put red and blue at B. I'm gonna put red, red and blue at B. Where's where's blue? Blue's right here. I started on this. I started red and blue. Pla well, platinum's god tier. No, platinum is. There's a platinum tier. But, yeah, Platinum is S- Okay, you know what? We're just gonna do that now. Platinum is S tier. Immediately. Platinum is the best game in the series. Hands down. Bar none, Platinum's best best game. You know what? I'm actually gonna make another one. How do I make another one? Uh, add a row above. Platinum. Play like Metal Gear tier. Platinum's just above it. Platinum's better than all the games. Uh, no, you, well, you couldn't skip the third gym, because you still needed to go back to do it, because you can't do the Elite Four, but you could not do it until later. Uh, you can do the same thing in, um, Red and Blue, though. You can, act, they actually designed Red and Blue that way, where once you beat the second gym, the world kind of opens up to you. You don't need Lieutenant Surge for Fly, because Lieutenant Surge gives you Fly, so you don't need that. Uh, once you get cut, you can just skip the third gym and go all the way to the end of the game without doing Lieutenant Surge. There was actually a streamer that did that. She was playing Let's Go, and nobody in chat told her that she skipped Lieutenant Surge and just couldn't find the third gym. But they, they designed it that way specifically, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, I would put... Although, I'm gonna put... We need, we need another tier. We need another tier. Uh, add row below. We need, we need F tier. We need F. The only reason I'm not putting... We only need, we need F because of this. 
because we need to put Pikachu at a B tier. We need to put these two at D, these two at C. Only because Pikachu exists. Because Pikachu was a much better game. You could skip the first gym. No, you can't. No, they make you go back and do it. I think they make you go back and do it. Do the first gym. Like, they actually won't let you leave town until you do it. Uh, X and Y, no. I would say X and Y fits on D. Actually, I would say X and Y fits on D tier. No, what? No. X and Y goes on C tier. In my opinion, X and Y is not as bad as people make it out. X and Y had a perfect XP curve. You were, like, perfectly on level the entire game. I didn't have to grind a single time, and there was no XP share. X and Y has a perfect XP. Glitches in OG are funny, though. They don't make you go back. They don't make you go back and do the first gym. I know in, Re I know in uh, Fire Red Leaf Green they do. I know they won't let you leave until you do the first gym on that one, because I tried. I'm put, but I'm putting X and Y in C tier, only because it's not as bad as people make it out to be. X and Y has a perfect XP curve. You were on level the entire game. You were never under leveled. I never had to grind. Not in the original games. See, I would, because the original games have bad design sometimes. They're glitchy. Red and blue are too glitchy because psychic types are overpowered. Because I'll argue with you on that one. Because red and blue, while they started the series, and while I love them to death, I played I blue was my game. Or I played red, but I start with Squirtle. Squirtle's my first start. X and Y has no post game. I'll give you that. But neither did red and blue. And uh, see, this is why I'm going to compare the two. X and Y and red and blue don't have post games. Neither does Pikachu, but that's another thing entirely. Pikachu has uh. You can get all the starters, that's why, and Pikachu's just better. It's a funner game. I like the Pikachu game, because you, you play the anime, it's kind of fun. X and Y has amazing Pokemon design. I love, there is not a single design until in X and Y that I don't like. I don't think there's a single X and Y Pokemon I don't like. Yeah, it's balanced. Well, I didn't say X and Y is not balanced, but like, until the funny Firebird gets its priority ability, but like, you know, that's... I used it, and like, I still wasn't overpowered. Like, I still fought through the game. Like, I used overpowered Pokemon. My team in X and Y, which I think I'm, I think Y, was Greninja, Talonflame, Gudra, Aegislash, Avalug, and... I don't remember the last... Uh, what was the last one? I can check my phone, actually. No, no, I can't check my phone. Um, I don't remember the last one was. Oh, yes, I do. I can check it. Hold on. I love I love vanilla Age of Slash. Age of Slash is such a cool design. It was just stupidly powerful. Uh, let me check my phone. I actually have a list on here. Um, Heliolisk. I had a Heliolisk. So most of my team was pretty overpowered. And I still had a blast in that game. Uh, it made grinding EVs very easy. Which made life a whole lot easier for competitive. Red and blue had the problem with the ghost types didn't function correctly. They were supposed to be able to beat ghost uh, to beat psychic types, but there's only one ghost type move for two, and one was nightshade and one was lick. They were pointless to fight ghost to fight psychic types with, and plus psychic types were immune to it because of bad coding. There was also the problem with um, bug types suck. They were just awful. The only good bug type is Scyther and Pinsir, and Neither of them get bug-type moves. And the only bug-type moves are weak as hell. That there's no, That's kind of some of the problems that I have with the game, is that. Um, that's why I'm putting them in the same tier, because they have pros and cons to each, but they average out. Megas were awesome. I liked... At first, I thought Megas were stupid, but it gave a lot of help to Megas. It gave a lot of help to Pokemon that, did, that needed it. And then it gave some that didn't need it. But, like, I love Gengar. I like Mega Gengar. Uh, it made Pokemon viable, like Absol. I'm so happy they put Absol in there. Okay, anyway, back to the game. Back to this. X and Y. No, actually, we're not gonna do X and Y. We're gonna do Ruby and Sap. Uh, we're gonna do Ruby Sapphire now. Oh, whoops. This is. These are the wrong ones. I'm sorry. Hold on. The original Gold and Silver. Go here. I'm sorry. 
The original gold and silver go here. No, not heart gold. The heart gold sold silver is S tier. These are S tiers immediately. They're amazing games. Heart gold sold silver are the best ones, or some of the best games. Then they gave one to Rayquaza. Yeah, Rayquaza didn't need one. Uh, no, heart gold sold silver are fucking amazing. They are amazing games. There is so much to do, and I still didn't do everything. I think I did everything in that game, and it still took me like 200, 300 hours to do it. I got my money's worth. It was fun. Yeah, they're a solid S rank. I honestly... Yeah, they're... I, I still say Platinum's just a... No, actually, you know what? You know what? We're gonna get rid of Platinum here. I really think Platinum's on the same level as Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. I really do. Emerald is an A tier. You know what? No, no, no. Yeah, em Emerald's A tier. And here's why. Yeah, the only thing is black. Okay, so I'll we'll do that in a second. Emerald is A tier. I'm gonna get to the games. I'm going way out of order. Emerald is A tier only because I Hoenn. I have a problem with Hoenn. I don't like that half of the region is fucking water. Like I get the whole too much water. It's like like the whole like 7.8 too much water i'm like okay fair but at the same time like it makes fire types really hard to use in that region for a long time and there's so many goddamn wind goals i already didn't i already didn't like seagulls to begin with so i already didn't like wind goal because i hate seagulls i lived on the beach i lived on the coast my entire life and i fucking hate Eagles. They are beach rats. They are ocean rats. They are disgusting. Anyway, don't mind. I, I mean, if you don't mind the water, that's fine. I did. Because I got tired of seeing fucking pelicans everywhere. Anyway. Uh, I'm also going to put fire red leaf green. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put... It's confusing because A, B, A, and B are very close. <sighs> I'm gonna put fire red and leaf green in B. I'm gonna put it in B. They had the Levy Islands. You ever actually hate the rival? Because there's no rival in this one. There's no rival in that one. There is no rival. They both suck. However, now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put fire red and leaf green in B tier with Pikachu. Uh, I like them. I played a lot of them, but I think Emerald just outclasses them. Let's go. We're not going to rank Let's Go because those don't count. <laughs> I'm not going to count those. Um, that's a different tier entirely. That's I don't count those. Those are a different tier. Then we have Ruby and Sapphire also go in B tier. Ruby and Sapphire also go in B tier. They're fun and I spend, I like them, but they go in B tier. They're the same thing with Red and Blue. Or with Fire Red and Leaf Green. Sword and Shield, C tier. What? What, Sword and Shield? That's your, come on, that's your first Pokemon game. You know what? No, Coffee's right. I'm gonna put him in B tier. I'm, I'll put him in B. They're not in A. They're not in A tier. Yeah, I do miss the different colored cartridges. That was cool. No, I'll get, okay. You know what? Sword and Shield go in B tier. They really aren't bad. They're not in A tier, but they're not a C tier. They're not on the same level as these three, as these, these games. They're definitely on the level of these games. Uh, but no, in all honesty, they're a B tier. They're a solid low. They're a low B. They're a, you get a B minus. They get a B minus. Now we're on some good shit. Uh, black and white. Black and white's a high B. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We'll put them in the order of like how good they are. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll put them in order. So black and white are high B. Black and white are a high B game. Only because black and white two exist. Uh, where's black and where's black and white two? Here it is. Black two and white two are A tier. In fact, I'd say they're better than Emerald. I hon honestly like them better than Emerald. I would honestly say black. Black, black 2 and White 2 are better than Emerald. 
100% of the time. I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post this to Twitter too, and just don't at me. Anyway, um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Okay, you know what? Sun and Moon go in D tier. They're better than Diamond and Pearl, but they're not. They're D tier. Oops. The limited decks in the OG Gen Five is rough, but the game looks and plays so well. That's why I put it in B tier. That's why I put it in B. Now, I like that they only use new Pokemon. I actually really enjoyed that. Because I, I fell in love with some. Like, they have the best dark types in the games. I, I honestly feel like they have the best dark types out of any of the series. Um, who is it? It's, uh... Like, Scrafty, Hydreigon, Crocodile. Those are all really cool Pokemon. Their dark types and ghost types were on point. The starters, not so much. The starters sucked. I hated the starters this gen. I actually dropped my starter this gen. Which I've never done. I never do. Uh, let me see. We now have Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oops. They're A tier. They're, they're, they're at A minus. Only because there's no battle, battle tower. There's no, no, I'm sorry, there's no uh, battle frontier. If it was a battle frontier, there'd be an S tier. Immediately. If there was a battle frontier, they be S tier. Hands down. Oh, I love Team Skull. Yo, 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 what's up, bro? We gonna steal your Pokemon? Yeah, no, I love Team Skull. I actually dressed like them at the end of the game. Like, when you can buy the clothes, I was dressed like Team Skull the rest of the game. Uh, but no, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, or A-. minus. Because... Oh, you know what? I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Let's... Oops, uh oh uh, add row below. We're gonna put A minus here. A minus. We're gonna make it a little bit easier to see, easier to look at. Oops, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. There we go. Oh, I can make it a little bit smaller now. Uh oh. Oh, can't see. Oh, I just need to move it like this. Hold on. There we go. Uh, where's this? There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some minuses. Hold on. A minus. Oh no, B minus. Oh god, no. Wrong button. Hold on. I like the Paper Mario music in the background. B minus. We're gonna put uh, Sword and Shield in B minus. You know, middle of the road. Not bad, not good. It's a middle of the road Pokemon game. Oh god damn it! I made it messed up again. Uh. My bad. There we go. Okay. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. They're an A minus as well. They're an A minus as well. Only because they just aren't. They were fun, and the Nuzlocks in those games are hard. I'm not gonna lie. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Nuzlocks are hard. The only reason they're not A tier is because there's no. Like the post game, there's not much to do. There's not much post game. Other than just grinding up legendaries. The blonde legal Pokemon's way more. Uh, I mean, that's fine. You gotta type. My personal favorite uh, legal one is... Well, you know, personal favorite Pokemon girl is Nessa. I like... Her. She's waifu for me. That's my Nessa. That Nessa's for me. Yeah, the only thing Kevin gets... The, the Ultras are what... The reason I put the Ultras so high compared to the, the, the originals is because the originals shouldn't exist. They should have just been Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. That was dumb. It should have just been Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. And I think that's why they didn't make an, a Z for X and Y, because they, the backlash from this was so bad. But yeah, that's my, that's my list. That's my list of where everything goes. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun with the Ultras. I had a lot of fun with them. That's why they're in A tier. The Ultra, yeah, the Ultras are in A tier. 
You know what? No. Ultra and B tier. I think so, I think black and white are better. I, I do think black and white are better. I think black and white are better than Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I think. That's what I that's what I truly believe. This is where I think all, everything goes. I'm gonna put these. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the colors up a little bit. Hold on. One moment. Uh, so that's gonna be. To me, legendary should be like an orange. Orange is for legendary. Uh. Oh wait, no. I play. <laughs> I play. Uh. No, let's make this purple. Purple. Uh. Blue. Lighter blue. But F is red. F is a red. God, it's just terrible. Uh, B, green, B minus, light green, C, that, oh, you know what, I'll wait this yellow, hold on, here we go, alright, there's my list. That is my list, and I am going to post this on Twitter. The surfing minigame was fun. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was actually really fun. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave this screen so I don't accidentally 